everyone, this is Yurgita with Stitches and Coffee with Yurgita and today is what August 23rd 2023 and I thought it, uh, you guys might like to see my whip parade before I start my three months to the finish line game that I uh, started and been doing that for several years so what you see in front of you is all my um, covers like a for all my whips, almost all my whips, because some are like a from magazines. So we're gonna go uh, probably from the smallest um, sizes, like ma from magazines, for example, and uh, just gonna go uh, in the size up and up uh, approximately. I'm not gonna go by the uh, date when it started the oldest or uh, like about to be finished or something like that. It's just, I'm gonna grab it uh, approximately sizes and just go up. So first of all, I want to say hello and welcome to um, all of you who's been with me for a while and watch my videos and comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys a lot. <laughs> I usually don't say that often enough, but thank you for uh, coming, constantly visiting me. And if you're here, um, just the first time kind of, so I'm hoping that... Um, you're gonna enjoy this video will get uh, inspirations if you've been stitching or just enjoy the watching this video and seeing all the different styles different sizes um, uh, goodies and um, let's start uh, right now and we'll start with uh, my one of uh, probably the smallest is the hard sampler scissors spool and fob you can see in here and I got it uh, probably in 2018 in Needlework Gallery from her um, designs by Julie and uh, uh, she had that as a whole kit so fabric uh, threads um, the spool itself to hold the scissors and um, there's uh, ribbons involved and all that stuff just to finish it and uh, this is what I have I think I started in May of uh, 2019 and uh, shamefully that's all I have uh, done I had something uh, done on the pattern that was incorrect and uh, then I took it to um, a couple of maybe a year ago or so to Galleria when she was there and I asked about uh, that and she told me what I did wrong so I uh, frogged it and now I'm ready to stitch it and what it needs to be done it, you have to kind of stitch uh, this way so the uh, wrong side becomes a good side and uh, then I have to do areas for the like make a holes for the ribbon to get through so Oh, where did I put my scissors? I know they were here. So I can uh, tie it up and you kind of see that folded area in there. So it needs to be folded on the sides, stitch that in the correct way and leave area for a ribbon to get through for to tie in. And then of course there is this itty bitty to do. So I'm really hoping to work on this uh, this month by the end of August, at least finish it something. And as you can see, I have uh, not just the regular excess done in here, but it's like a satin stitch in uh, different ways. And uh, I know that there's, you have to kind of count because it's not perfectly uh, same amount everywhere. And uh, some are back stitching done uh, and the half stitches. So a little bit of everything in there, super simple thing, but I think that's why it's holding me back because it's um, it was so small that um, I just wanted to work more on uh, bigger pieces and you you'll probably gonna hear uh, me talking about something like this for other small pieces because I want to get more uh, done with the big ones so that would be my first one let's set this aside with the whole kit now the next one I'm hoping to finish it this year I'm dread dreading the list last part and it's a Riolis egg. Uh, it just uh, says that's uh, Easter egg. And uh, this is what it's supposed to look like. It come again as a whole kit. <clears throat> and let me show you what I have done up to this point. And I've stitched what was needed to be stitching uh, on a 25 count over one that was included in the kit. And this is a piece of fabric that it was. I just stitched in the middle and it's gonna be folding. Um, 
we need to finish the edges and the only thing that was left you see the beads and a, a little shiny threads like sort of like a crinic back stitching was done so it's very small detailed work but what's left is to do all the beading uh, that uh, goes to, to the bottom and the top so it doesn't seem like it's hard but i know um we cannot uh, leave it very loose uh, it was included the wooden egg inside uh, i might start on the bottom or maybe on the top one, one part i'll do and then the second one i have to really uh, tighten up uh, to make sure it's not just sliding around so that's going to be hard to do and you see the size um finish size without additional elements i don't know what they meant by that it's two and a half by two so it's a small and uh, the FFO is going to be at the end so you wrap it around it's going to fold it up so all the stitching is done and just needs um, needs to have uh, all the beading uh, part done so that I I was dreading I've never done something like this before so I'm sure uh, I'm going to make some mistakes but uh, hopefully all the uh, instructions are uh, cleanly written understandably and uh, I'll not have a lot of work uh, to do with that but we'll see and uh, you'll know <laughs> once i'm done with that so those two are like a, the least amount i can put the scissors right there uh the least amount of uh, work i think that needs to be done in my uh, whips Oops. and the third one would be this uh dracula tissue box cover and it's, it says it's um it's a whole kit on a seven count mesh plastic canvas. It has acrylic yarn, trims, needle, and instructions. So this is what the overall should look like. Uh, of course, uh, from, I think, packaging, this color changed. It's supposed to be gray, darker gray, not uh, like a khaki, some kind of a greenish thing. And I have a lot of them uh, pieces done. I'm sorry for the glare but uh like uh this i think goes like here and we have a cross plain piece at the side um like with the handles right here the other side then these you see that's the color supposed to be uh, on that and it took me a bit uh, to figure that out we have uh, some sides done and uh, you see it's um, all those itty bitty pieces in here and uh, then we have the like a cape in here uh no not, not that one back side of it and that's a front the face of the vlad is done and i've done um bats it just uh, don't have yet the eyes one two three four the main cover the top one in here i haven't done yet the back stitching there and uh, one piece left to do in the as a full stitching so then we'll be uh finishing up all the french knots and uh, and the back stitching uh that some places need to to be done and uh let's see will be all to put together it's uh, it's slightly different if you've never done um, on a plastic canvas, the holes you count slightly differently than on a regular cross stitch fabric. So I have to kind of uh, twist my mind uh, towards that every time I have to remember to cut it correctly because I had uh, one small piece cut incorrectly. Luckily, the way I was, um, it was given like two sheets and I was positioning them so I was able to not to run and buy the new sheet of canvas but i was able to salvage it so you see around the edges it's left uh, and then we'll have to um like uh, put it together so that's what left and the tissue is gonna come out of um his guts i guess <laughs> so uh majority is what's left to do like i said this uh, back stitching and uh, french knots and uh, then it will be all to put together so i want to at least uh, finish this up and i've started uh, the, let's see i started in may of 2019 also so that's been pestering me for a little while and i just can't seem to get to it but hopefully uh, i'll put myself together and and grab it and uh, start doing it so that would be my, my number three well by the size it might not be one of those smaller ones but what's left is not a lot and uh, it was started not that long ago and um, i'm hoping to finish it before new year and as you see it's a wedding confections by meridian designs i got um 
I got it in 22 needlework gallery. I got it as a kit. Uh, so all the threads, there were silk threads in there, um, all done added. And it comes with this little piece. Um, I don't know if it's out of polymer clay or what. There's some beads, everything uh, I got as a kit. A stitching on 32 count white Lugana. I started in May 1st of 2023 and I have just a little bit left and um, what's left I, I still have it on the frame because I'm hoping to finish it by New Year because I have a wedding in April and I need to FFO and what's left is to do the very smallest biscornu piece you see that's the middle size so the bis small biscornu is going to be even smaller and uh, need to do top and the bottom um, this is bottom of the biggest uh, piece and uh, there's a uh, room left to put in names and a date of uh, newlyweds and uh, i'm gonna do that later on right now i just want to uh, finish all the parts stitched and I just had this um, Lugana fabric uh, with the size a little bit longer than wide. I'm leaving some room to cut out um, just uh, by my eye, kind of figure out how much I want to leave it out because it's going to be uh, sewed on together. I've never put together Biscornu yet, so that's going to be my first also. So I'm, uh, I know I'm not going to take a very long time to to stitch the pieces, the small pieces, but then I'll have to do that and cut out and put it all together. That's gonna be my um, challenge. <laughs> but once I've done the biscornia, I'm sure I'll be able to do uh, these very quickly. But I have to have it all done before April and I'm sure I'll, I'll, get, to, I'll get to do that. I have a lot of my homemade frames and uh, that works very well for me and um, like I said, this is my number four and one of the uh, this year's starts and will be finished hopefully. So that's number three, uh, number four. And number five is my very last um, ornament. Uh, it used to be DMC, uh, not DMC, uh, Dimensions ornament, but it's so super hard to find the actual kit that uh, um, if it shows up on eBay, it's over $150. Yeah, or more and uh, we're some of us are if you want to stitch we're forced to to buy a kind of knockoffs and I have only one more piece left stitching it's uh, this one and I want to finish that before Christmas so I can um, then clean them all up and prep for FFO wing I haven't not done this kind of ornament or any ornament like FFO <laughs> up to date yet but this is what it looks like right now uh, of course the colors are different it stitches with one or two threads full stitch uh, there's half stitch there's gonna be some um back stitching uh ri little ribbons uh, crisscross if you've seen uh, those uh, and uh, i attached uh, that's the longest part it takes me to attach those little um, golden ribbon parts to st straighten them out and attach to with uh, like a yearly invisible thread and there's going to be beads in there so um what i have left right now is about 2745 stitches it's going to be a little bit more because it takes me longer to like i said attach those little golden ribbons so maybe 2800 uh, stitches uh, considering left as a total and like i said i want to finally finish this because uh, i had it again for a while and uh, let me pull her up on my program i can tell you exactly when Hopefully, when I started, I did not look it up at all at this piece. Um, let's see, uh, by Amish Shop, I started the first one in May of 2019. And this one I started, no, the sixth one uh, I started later on. Fifth one was, uh, fifth it was done this year and this is last sixth one. So that's time to finish it off since 2019. I, I was doing little one by one slowly. So this was done in very simple, uh, like a frame with the tacks in there. And uh, we'll see how it all turns out and wish me luck then <laughs> once I'm done to do that as FFO. 
Now the next piece is uh, pretty much no excess involved. It's all specialty stitches and you can choose any color. And I know a lot of people were asking me uh, in the past where uh, they could get something like this, but I tried to look her up. Um, I bought in 2016, I think, via Facebook. Um, it's by Modern Twist Embroidery. It's called Gardens of Semiramis. And designer was Olga Mamayeva. So uh, on the Facebook and I think even Etsy, she's gone now. So I don't think she's selling those things anymore. I started this piece in May of 2018. And uh, it was uh, all kinds of things suggested, but I did not have those threads. So I kind of went uh, my way because you can use anything you want. And um, majority of the work, um, I started kind of like a, what was last year only or this year, I really uh, tackled this piece and it was stitching on a canvas, 18 uh, count uh, canvas, special canvas and it's a little bit loose right now that I got. Um, it's um, it's an 18 count brown canvas, 2 over 2, 87 by 87 design. And this is what it looks like. Uh, the pictures, what she had and what she had on um, like a design uh, were slightly different style even. So I was uh, kind of fudging some of the piece parts uh, like this. And somehow I went, I think, one stitch over uh, longwise. So I have to now adjust all the other parts because I didn't want to start it all over again. And I'm adjusting uh, as I go with... Um, how it looks so it's not a perfectly square but i don't think you can tell much unless i would tell you about it but as you can see the color uh choices i think i even picked this middle one exact but uh, somehow i get more blues so it's a dialot thing and uh, like a beads i was just like picking what i had um i like uh, uh the threads that uh are um like a changeable um different blends so i'm um, kind of was going sometimes by the design uh, drawing and sometimes by the picture here so so i have still quite a bit left this is also an unfinished piece so i have like a three rows more left and uh, this is not fully finished yet so yeah i don't think i'm gonna finish it this this year but i'm gonna start pushing it towards the end because i have more sp uh, projects uh, planned for uh, specialty stitching but so far i'm enjoying it a lot it's something totally different and it involves uh, kind of like a creativity to uh, do as you want um, just like overall design is given so that would make uh, what uh, six piece i believe uh six whip and uh, let's continue there is one whip that is just hiding from me because it's so small. It's a nutcracker ornament. It's going to be like a 3D round one uh, guy and just hid from me in such a way that I can't find it. I'm sure uh, once I finish the video and post it, uh, it's going to pop out sometime. So that's a small uh, part and um, uh, hopefully it will show up uh, itself probably waiting for some moment to surprise me maybe i need to pull out nuts to crack it right so let's go to the next available and it's uh, part of the magazine uh just cross stitch this one this uh, the piece i've already done this year and it's february february 2021 and i'm working on this lovebirds ornament not ornament but a picture like a heart and uh, I had some uh, color, not uh, this one, but the sparkly one. Uh, stitch count is 109 by 109. And uh, fabric is Rosalind's Opal 28 Count Lugana by Under the Sea Fabrics. And I started it in April 2023. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? It's just stitching with the white color. So it's very uh, convenient for me to grab it when I have to go somewhere uh, except that, that uh, all this sparkly fabric sometimes um, gets in my vision but it's just one thread and I don't have to drag it along all kinds of stuff so you can kind of see and compare how much I have uh, stitched uh, bird is like almost uh, fully done I'm starting the edging here there's a little bit left uh, to do like a straight stitches and something in here so I'm slowly working on that 
and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wanna finish like I said it's good to take it somewhere it's not one of those ginormous pieces of mine that uh, requires a big frame or anything like that so that's why I'm not in a hurry to finish this one plus I just started uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes so this is how much it's done and uh, if I wanted to sit I probably can finish it very quickly and within one month but like I said I don't want to hurry with this one so the next one also from a magazine and it's a uh, cross stitch and needlework of December 1997 so that's what the thing looks like and uh, this is what's supposed to be it's like a pillow uh, with all kinds of features I'm not sure if I would consider that one of the smallest ones I've started the cameo part which is very small uh, on this april first stitching on 28 count white cashel linen it will need some mill hills uh, silk ribbons and as you can see all kinds of specialty stitches uh, on the pillow there's a hard dunger involved and uh, special like i said specialty i don't know if i'm gonna do uh, all of the ribbon pieces like definitely I'm, I don't want to do this part I think it's just a little bit older style but uh, it intrigued me all of this um, interesting design I've never seen it anywhere like that so been working slowly on over one thread so it's a small piece and as you can see what it looks like right now so just a little bit on the bottom left to do her um, like outfit with little flower here and the cameo itself would be done and then uh, in here and then I'll be stitching that and the cameo later on will be attached uh, with um, this uh, stitch so there's still quite a bit of uh, work left to do at least on, a, on the biggest part but uh, cameo I'm almost done there is no back stitching no French knots nothing in here but like I said it's uh, over one uh, thread and uh, that's uh, taking a little bit more attention and more tiring on eyes but I love the whole concept of uh, different things in here not just a plain X so that would be another piece now the next one I haven't counted what uh, how much uh, in stitches it would be but this is a kit I got um, by oven or oven <laughs> oven I think uh, you would say more uh, and it just says uh, with uh, Easter if you want to translate and uh, I started in this April also and uh, I'm not gonna stitch in here because that's in Russian um, the words uh, like happy Easter would be and I'm just concentrating on the main uh, part and I've decided to make it smaller uh, not uh, like a two over two but do uh, over one and this is what I have right now so I've uh, doing I'm doing that as a half stitch and you can kind of compare uh, what I've done so far <sighs> and uh, it's also like a more portable so I can do it but it's over one so it's a little, little bit harder to work on again and uh, it's gonna have uh, some of the back stitching but not a lot mainly it's just the plain stitches and uh, you see the chick uh, bottom chick uh, chest in here and uh, body uh, starting to outline <sighs> so um, like I said I, since I just started I'm not planning to finish it by next Easter just want something to work on um, when my mood strikes and uh, my eyes are not too tired so that's where I'm working and it's going to be half the size what it should be though it says like a 26 by 23 centimeters so it would be about half the size but I think it's turning out pretty good with the half stitches of course the dark ones you see more but like um, light colors you can't even tell that's uh, done in half stitch so that would be one of the like sort of like a getting uh, from a smaller uh, size up uh, so that would be uh, another grouping of three all right let's continue so another uh, magazine piece that i started this year actually on may 5th of 23 is from this magazine cross stitch and needlework october 1997 and i've decided to try out something like this again uh, non uh, purely non just the cross stitching 
the only cross stitching i think part is mainly uh, is going to be the middle part which uh, i guess can be done like a separately but there's going to be a lot of like a beads using uh tassel making and i don't know what those big ones are yet but uh, this is what um what i'm trying to work on design is by janelle geese uh, on the um, interestingly it looks like on the practically white uh, whitish creamish uh, fabric but uh, it's actually not uh, when i was trying to find what they suggest water lily royal danish linen it was a slightly different color and um, and i got water linen um 32 count and the design is 70 by 195 and since I just started, I've uh, kind of picked the middle part and uh, just went a uh, little bit with that. I haven't uh, played around with um, with all the beading and things like that. So let's see. Let me get me frame. So that's what the color is. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, water lilies. It's a nice uh, greenish uh, kind of fabric definitely not what's in the picture i think it's more bleached in here and as you can see uh, i've just started on the middle part of making uh, crosses and i have very tiny bit of the start done there's going to be some back stitching done in there and beading just in that part but i thought something again were different and then uh, excess done and um, it's not going to be finished this year uh, definitely so slowly i'll be enjoying working with this and i'll see how i can do all those tassels but uh, this is uh, what i've been planning to work and as you can see the frame is i think i might have left like three inches off uh, the side and there's a little bit wrapped up in here so that's not going to be a tiny piece at all but it's going to be in I, I guess I could shorten it or if you have this magazine if you wanted to do it just like this or make that as a ornaments separately that's also I think would work but uh, this is kind of cute with a little pansy in the middle so that would be my this year start again from the magazines so that's one the next one I'm gonna show you is again from a magazine and it's uh, different by better homes and gardens cross stitch and needlework and this is from april 1999 um, and um, what i've decided to try out is again something different not a pure excess and it's a silk band sampler uh, by robin kingsley started in uh, april 16 2023 and i have just a little bit done I'm probably gonna be doing hanging i'm not gonna do like full frame and it involves some specialty stitches some beads are gonna have and uh, it's not overall super hard it's just uh, something very simple uh, very relaxing to do and uh, let's see i picked um 32 count cream by Bel uh, belfast the cream linen and this is what i have done Let's see so far just a very few top rows so uh just a plain um go row by row and you can see already that i have some um specialty work done um uh, beads are in this row and then um how oh, is that the algerian eyelids or something like that and something in the middle uh, is different i can't even remember and these tiny dots i guess you could use a very uh, petite i don't know if even petite is that small but those are french knots in here um going around so stitches very easily kind of repetitive uh, it's just that uh, each row you have to kind of learn uh what to do and when but i think it's coming out very uh, cute uh very uh, simple um and i'm just using dmc colors in here uh let's see it's it's suggested as the choices anchor dmc and the silk floss but uh, i'm doing just that and there's a descriptions in here how to do some of the stitching uh so so yeah i did not want to do with the silk uh, threads especially if it's going to be able to uh, touch uh, with the hands it's easier to wash uh just in case some silk decides to run so that's again uh little by little i'll be able to work on that and enjoy so that would be two in in this group of threes all right, the next one is the first in the series that I have uh, patterns I've never tried before. 
and it's the berry uh, from uh, Erica Michaels uh, Designs Petite Collection. You can buy them for the regular uh, size, uh, like um, on a linen or uh, any other threads, or there is a silk um, collection. And this is uh, mermaid berry, which means that on a silk thread, it's included when you buy this um, pattern that it's included uh, the silk uh, 40 count gauze. You pay a little bit more, but you already get it uh, because silk gauze, uh, it's, I think, uh, pretty expensive compared to like a linen fabric or even a hand dyed linen fabric. So uh, the big difference is that on a silk gauze, you have to stitch everything. All the background is have to be filled in and you'll see why. I have several of those silk berry collections I'm collecting and uh, like every year I buy something from uh, from her at the Galleria and this one I started uh, June of this year, uh, 23 and uh, let's see, this is what I have. Uh, it took me a, f a while just to prep it, uh, once I prepped it, it was fine to stitch but um, what you see is you have to have some kind of back fabric and uh, you can see the silk gauze how tiny there are it's a 40 count of course and you attach um, the fabric uh, with the silk gauze together and then carefully cut out the the backing so you just see like a hole but uh, that's the only way to uh, secure in the frame of some kind so i had this extra like a canvas um, thickness and i attached it to it so just made my middle part what i've started is uh, is the berry itself in here there's two pieces of silk one is for the medallion i guess it's called and that is for a silk thread so what you see is just i started from the middle where her uh, hair is and uh, curling up in there and um, just the regular dmc threads nothing super fancy schmancy and i'm doing that over one i hope you can see it how how tiny it is so again it's straining a little bit more on my eyes so i just uh, gonna be doing a tiny bit at the time but once it's done it's gonna be nice and cute and small size that i can display since i was born by the sea i love the water although i still haven't learned fully how to swim but uh, I love the water, just the sound being by it, I feel more refreshed. So I have to have something um, with the sea theme. So that would be another of my uh, project that I started this year, Silk Berry. And um, I don't know how long it's going to take me just to do the berry. There's also medallion waiting, but uh, I'm not in a hurry. I'm enjoying the process. So that's what's important to me. Okay, let's uh, go to the next one. And the next one is going to be by uh, first time I'm doing this also like all uh, just the beads on a very specific uh, fabric uh, It's by Abrisart um, Ukrainian company. You can actually find them on Amazon all kinds of different designs and I bought uh, from them uh, two uh, straight and uh, this one is called blue gold because my father is um, fish by the zodiac and uh, i thought something like this could be cool to do uh let's see since i just started this i barely have done anything i've never stitched just the uh, beads they have to be specifically put in um it's a printed printed canvas and i was trying to figure out how to do it um it has 18 colors, over 5,200 uh, beads. So I started that in June and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's a printed fabric. There's nothing on the other side and uh, you don't want to fold it up because uh, this could uh, really scratch off. And you can kind of see the faint um, outlines for the framing uh, purpose. Uh, let's see, there was uh, on the side uh, what each bead is, uh, which number. And uh, I have to use this invisible thread and uh, I've tried a few different uh, styles to stitch and see how the beads go. So you can kind of see you have a color like a code and you follow by the, by the uh, like a pattern to see what uh, bead to do. So you can see those tiny, tiny, like a petite beads let's see i don't know if my camera is going to focus on this distance but uh, tiny beads are going to mix in with the regular beads and uh, that's what's going to make it nice and uh pretty and sparkly so 
that's gonna be again a uh, slow work on that but i'm sure it's gonna be uh, be beautiful and uh uh, on the side it says gentle hand wash uh, certain temperature you don't want to twist because that's uh, going to be bad but um, I want to finish this because I have a few more at least to work on later on a uh, different style even because there are uh, from them um, designs that uh, like I do uh, like a round uh, stitching all full beads so it uh, gives a uh, again different looks but this one is i'm sure it's going to be so nice and sparkly but it's going to be lots of work to put in uh, it's a lot of beads and yeah, i need to make sure that i don't put it in wrong uh, place or wrong size because that's going to mess up everything but that's one of my newest uh, starts and um, you'll see this uh, being pulled out time after time throughout the uh, several years in the future all right, let's continue. Next one, I bought a pattern in, uh, oh gosh, I don't know what year. Uh, designer is Nadezhda Kazarina. And uh, I have like a four of these uh, dragons of the different drinks uh, bought long ago. And the stitch count is 140 by 165. So total is just over 18,000 stitches. And I chose, I've decided to start all of them on a 32 count black belfast linen i already have a beard dragon stitch so this is my second uh, dragon i started this in may of 2021 during stitch mania and i haven't done a lot uh, on it although i probably should work a little bit more and uh, i was started to stitch uh, like upside down and oops sorry for moving you and this is what i have right now and as you can see you can kind of tell where the i don't know sun on the moon is uh, already outlining a little dragon's head it's so stinky cute but uh, there's lots of blends in there lots and lots of back stitching uh with um, a lot of uh, that you can't even see and uh it's gonna be fun stitching but uh, i'm not looking forward to all the back stitching so i have to do it um as i go you can and I can tell in some of the white colors like uh, with the two threads I think even and stuff like that so it's um, since it's uneven fabric it's a linen it's a, it's a slightly different look but I thought a black fabric would really pop it out more and um, you can kind of see the design what it looks like and I can tell you in a minute the statistics but uh, all of the scales will be outlined and especially here is going to be lots of lots of scales in there and the uh, steam uh, everything everything is green, uh, totally outlining and i have right now only 18 percent done this is 18 percent and i have 14,771 stitches left and that's including all the back stitching but uh, what do you guys think i think in a black fabric it really looks uh, cool versus like a light colored so uh, I'm sure it's, it's going to look different once you have a, I have like a body part like here showing, uh, uh, staring at you. I think it's going to look different. Of course, in the back, black fabric, uh, the darkness shows up a little bit, but I think it just pops out more. So that's uh, one of the dragons that I'm working on now. Next piece is actually something that I'm planning to finish this year and you'll uh, remember probably this if you've seen my videos and it's uh, Stitcher's Alphabet by Bo Brooks Books and it's uh, free on her website and under freebies so you can go ahead and stitch it and I have uh, for this year decided that I want to do once a month one letter so some of the uh, letters as you can see are uh, fully coverage uh, stitching some have a spe specialty stitches there's a crying involved some beads involved and uh, back stitching and a different uh, colors of one or two and uh, like a, uh, this is like a red work so it's a lot of uh, like a back stitching red work done so this is what i have up to this point i was very good this year and uh, just stitching one uh, letter per month so i have just a bit left to do 
and uh, there's I think at least one of them is going to be fully uh, stitched in not like these where it's just a little bit so it varies from month to month how many stitches total is uh, involved but I'm enjoying it and uh, like this one is variegated thread so I, I was able to put in my input how I wanted variation variegation to be but uh, that's um, also layout could be different you can have them all separately but I've decided to kind of be a long one and once I finish I, I, I will unravel for you and uh, show you my whole piece how I had it all planned out to um, to get it so that's uh, what my um, one of my whips that I'm working on uh, to be finished this year so you'll see on uh, uh, 2023 finishes this for sure so that's uh, another whip and the next one is uh, my newest start, I believe, and it's Vintage Lilies by um, Mereshka. I had uh, this purchased uh, last uh, February, and I had it on um, like Ada fabric, and uh, I already have one piece stitched uh, from a sort of like the series, and uh, that was Vintage Roses, so I thought I should try and match the fabric. I found something very, very close, I think. Um, if you watch my uh, regular like monthly videos and uh, I'm planning to um, FFO it, frame it in exact same style. So that's why I want to uh, finish this stitching and uh, get it all done because other piece is waiting for it. It's all put in um, um, in the frame size. Uh, it just uh, has not been fully framed. Um, so waiting for this one. And I really put a lot of work in that those few days that I worked on it because it was started, like I said, August 13th. So let's see, where's the front top? And let me pull it out again on my homemade frame. It's very useful when I need certain size. So this is Latte Belfast Linen, 32 count. Design is 99 by 184. So total is going to be just over 9,000 stitches. And this is what uh, you see in front of you. So I was kind of going from the middle part uh, that I have a needle right now put in. And I was uh, counting from it and uh, just filling in and uh, filling in. I was stitching uh, that time like upside down. So it's easier for my hands instead of like reaching up there. Just uh, go from the middle and go down. But this is what it looks like right now. And uh, again, it's... Uh, it's fairly easy to stitch. It's uh, it is it's not a lot of a uh, back stitching at all to do in here, so I don't know. Hopefully, I might be able to finish it next year. We'll see how it goes, but uh, that's what I've done at one uh, sitting over a few days and uh, very uh, happy with the outcome how it turned out. So that's my uh, vintage lilies. All right, and the next piece, I've decided to try out a uh, secret stitch along um, by Lanarte. And uh, this one it was just given some kind of hints what it would be about. Uh, a lot of people kind of guess from a style and the colors who the designer would be. And they were right. Uh, actually, this style is already over. I, um, I had to kind of stay behind, but that's okay. Uh, you had to sign up on the Facebook or on the website um, with the emails to receive the parts uh, by email of the pattern uh, and it was given uh, like a weekly pattern and uh, we had to work from that. Um, <clears throat> let's see, it started, where do I have it? Secret Cell. It started uh, March and uh, in US if you're interested, uh, every year they have about two uh, secret stitch alongs. Um, in U.S., you can order them from Hershner's uh, website, uh, and uh, just uh, you have to be patient when it starts popping out in Europe uh, that uh, Hershner's get um, a little bit of showing up later with the kits. So you had to purchase kit blindly kind of thing, and um, it comes like with no picture in the front because you don't know what's going to be. That's a six or stitch along and which one and just the threads in there with the fabric. So that's all I had to work with. I uh, just kept uh, tied up uh, like a braided uh, threads and let me show you what I've got. Right now I just have it on the frame uh, semi-done. 
on the frame uh, and uh, let's see there were some uh, it, not a discrepancies but uh, slightly different things done um, when uh, I was missing some part of it uh, that I was showing when I put in the pattern keeper because it comes as a PDF that it was um, missing a little small part which was well, if you look at the computer when you open it, uh, it it's showing but this is all that I have like a uh, first part was this and the second part like that so it's so reasonable each week to stitch um, I think uh, usually it's like a uh, 1500 uh, up to 2000 stitches per week you get but this is what you work on and um, and that's what uh, I have done so far so it's not a lot but it's okay uh, I know what it looks like I was really trying hard not to see what the final product uh, what it's gonna look like but uh, of course it just kept popping when I, you browse through the Facebook you have to sign up on the secret uh, style uh, facebook group if you want to participate in that and uh, there's a file also of the pattern um there uh, but you still you have to buy a kit with the threads and stuff so that's all i have uh, i started in march and that's all i have uh, done with that so that's um i don't know what's the total stitch count would be yet um right now i think uh, in the fall a uh, total like a kit with the picture and stuff uh, supposed to come out so uh, we'll see uh, the fall one is uh, something with the sea theme so that's what it is